YouTubers. Brian here, Carolina Bushwhacker. Well, I'm going to do my opening statement right here real quick before I get out the Jeep and head on down the hill here. It is the crack of dawn. Let's see, today is October 17th, 2021, and we've had this cold front come in. It's down to about 44 degrees this morning. So I'm going down here to my magic acre, as I call it, because out of 218 acres here that I hunt on, this one acre has everything going on. Some of you already watched my videos, have uh, pointed out, you can hear the wood ducks, there, there's beaver down in here, otters, turkey, deer, raccoons, coyotes, fox, the whole shebang's down here. So you never know what I'm going to run across this morning. I'm about to get out, get dressed, get the gun loaded up, and on I go. So, well, let's see what happens this morning. All right, let's win. Okay, I've made it back here undetected. I take it. I didn't hear or see anything coming in, which is good. But, man, oh, man, I can't wait for trapping season. These beaver, I got this all dammed up. Every week is getting bigger and bigger, and the deer used to cross through here, but now I think they're going way around while the wood ducks are talking. I hear a turkey in the distance. Let's see how it goes this morning. I've got a coyote at about 100 yards out in front of me. Man, I... He's not on our property, so I can't shoot him. But to be quite honest, we know the guy. And he ain't gonna care if I do shoot it. Doggone it. Especially seeing how I got his camo on. Oh boy, heard that smack that dough. <laughs> All right. I watched her. She'd come across from off the other property. And went on around. And I knew she was going to cross right there. They always do. I'm going to give her some time. Okay. I found her which I was wrong about. Oh, which is him. Uh, well, you know what though? Still meat in the freezer. I gotta go back to school for a couple of weeks. I'm not gonna be able to hunt again until November. I'm gonna take it. Let's find a bullet hole. Well, I found the exit double lunged him with a nozzler ballistic tip nine millimeter and believe it or not this little joker's starting to rut he's smelling sweet got a little cologne on for the ladies all right before i move him even though i'm hundreds of acres back on private land nobody would know if i moved it without tagging it I practice these principles because I abide by the law and don't want no habits forming so when I'm on public land I make a mistake. Alright, here's a pro's pointer for you. Not that I'm really a pro. For the longest time I would try to take and stick these tags through here without gashing it so big, you know, but anybody mess with them here in South Carolina knows they're a pain in the butt sometimes trying to stick them through there and stick them to their cells, but I'll take the knife. And then I'll take the tag. Let's see if I can get it. And then I'll take the tag and slide the tag down the knife blade and then pull it around and then stick it to itself. I wish they had the old plastic tags like they used to have, but I think a lot of people frauded them. And that's why they did away with them. Now, now I'm going to show you how I do this bushwhacker style. Now I done ambushed this. What I thought was a doe little buck. I'm gonna stick him in the back right here. 
a brand new tarp. I've got it rolled over the seats, draped down to the ground. I push him in there and roll him up like a burrito. Keep the blood out. Let's go get him. That's how you do it.